In this video, we are looking at solving quadratic equations where we have a zero on one side of the equation and a quadratic expression in x on the other side that we can factorise. Before continuing with this video, make sure you are comfortable with factorising quadratic expressions from topic A4E. Make sure you're also happy with the zero product property that we looked at in the previous video on this topic. In our first example, we need to solve x squared plus 8x plus 12 equals 0. That means we need to work out the value or values of x that satisfy this equation. Now, if we can factorise the expression on the left, then we can turn it into a problem like the ones we saw in the last video. And we know how to solve those using the zero product property. Factorising the left hand side, I get x plus 6 multiplied by x plus 2. So that's the left hand side and we know that that equals 0. So we have a product here, we're multiplying x plus 6 by x plus 2. Don't forget there's an invisible multiplication symbol in here. Now, if they multiply to give you 0, that means one of these must be 0. So either x plus 6 equals 0 or x plus 2 equals 0. Now that means that either x is negative 6 or x is negative 2. These are the two solutions to this equation. These are the only two values of x that satisfy this equation. Remember we can always check our solutions by substituting them into the original equation and checking that the equation is satisfied. For example, if x equals negative 6, then x squared here is negative 6 times negative 6, which is positive 36. 8x is 8 times negative 6, which is negative 48. So we have positive 36 plus negative 48 plus 12, and that does equal 0. So x equals negative 6 does satisfy that equation, which means it is a solution. You can check for yourself that x equals negative 2 also satisfies this equation. Here are the next two examples. Pause the video and have a go at these. Here's what you should have found. Compared to what we were doing in the last video, there is only one extra step here at the beginning, and that involves factorising the quadratic expressions. As I said at the start of the video, if you're not sure about how to factorise a quadratic expression, go back to topic A4E.